Hi everybody and welcome back to Diabetic Cooking with Love. I am Nika, Danika, or um, <clears throat> the lady that needs to get 8 to 10 cups of vegetables into her person per day. So I am not a dietitian, I am not a nutritionist, I am not a chef. I'm just a lady trying to get by. So let's see what I got today. Shall we get started? Hi everybody, how you doing? Welcome back. Today, what I'm going to make is a spaghetti sauce that I used to make in the before times, before Terry. And um, what we have for ingredients. The other thing is, um, you will find the recipe for this uh, spaghetti sauce below. Um, it is one that I'm um, making from memory. So I will write down what I use and the quantities that I use and show you the quantities that I use so that um, you'll know how I make this and what I use, um, what quantities are, okay? So what I have here is I have oregano, rosemary, basil, basil, Italian seasoning, whoops, red, crushed red pepper, onion powder, and celery salt. I also have some nut uh, nutritional yeast seasoning. I have uh, chopped, organic chopped tomatoes. I love a little, I found this lovely bottle of Simply Natural Organic Red Sriracha. So we're going to put a little bit of that in there, put a little picante. Anyway, uh, we've got uh, strained tomatoes. We have tomato and basil. And I'm going to have an onion, a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm going to use butter. And this is chicken. Now I've cooked it a little bit because it was frozen and I ground it. So what I have here is some ground chicken breast, organic ground chicken breast. Okay, so I'm going to chop the onions, mince the garlic, and I'll catch you guys back over there with my um, stove. 
I will talk to you later. Hi everybody, welcome back. So I've moved everything from the table to over here because we're going to be cooking. So we're going to turn on, I've already melted the butter, and I'm going to turn on the heat right now and get that going again. Now, this is a recipe that I used to make in the before times, like I said. Um, and basically, instead of beef, I'm going to be using chicken, and I have a chicken grinder um, from way back, a meat grinder. So what I did was I par-cooked the chicken and I ground it up a little bit. I didn't do anything except steam it because it's going to get a lot of its flavor from here. So now what I have here is I have some organic chopped tomatoes. I have some nutritional yeast seasoning. I have some sriracha sauce. I also have some strained tomatoes and I have pasta sauce. So I'm going to be putting a little bit of everything into my pasta sauce. So um, what I've also done, I wanted to show you, is that I've taken a spaghetti squash and I've roasted it with some salt, some pepper, and some olive oil, as you can see. So we're going to be using this as our pasta. All right, so we're going to let this do a little bit more baking in the oven. It has been, um, what I have done is, again, I've cut it in half and I've roasted it in the oven. I've had it in there for about an hour, hour and a quarter, something like that, okay? So what we're doing are, um, oh, well, let me just get We'll let it that out, right, Steve? Just be careful, honey. <laughs> All right, we give our hands a little scrub. A little bit of soap and we are ready to start now what I have here is some chopped onions I'm gonna put that in with my butter because the because the meat is already cooked I'm using butter to soften my onions and soften my celery and soften my carrots oh that was the other thing I the other ingredients I forgot to tell you about um, I've also added a little bit of chopped carrot and a little bit of chopped celery. And that's going in with my onions. So we're gonna get all of these to soften up together for our sauce. Alrighty. So we'll put that over here. And then, I'm learning kids, I chopped, I peeled the garlic before I started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty wooden spoon and turn up the heat just a little bit to get my carrots and celery and onions softening for my sauce. This should probably take about, oh, here you go. Okay. Smells really good. It smells really good. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these down for about 5-10 minutes till they're all soft and ready for to be sauced. Okay? We'll be right back. Hi everybody. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes I guess. And our onions and celery and carrots have softened just a little bit. So now is when I would add the garlic so it doesn't burn. And like I said, I got really smart and I learned how to peel it before I got to. <laughs> watching you guys watch me suffer. Put in the garlic. We don't let it burn. So we'll put it down just one more time. Oh, it's starting to smell really good in here, isn't it, Steve? Yeah, I wasn't lying when I said that the first time. <laughs> Steve volunteers this tribute every single time I cook something, so 
know that if you see it, it's because it has passed the Steve Kelly thumbs up. Yep, this is good. They'll like this one, Mom. <laughs> okay, let me just take this off the heat a little bit. Try and get these last little bits of garlic out of here. I don't want anything to burn or taste even a little bit Cajun or crispy. So, we got the garlic out. Yum, yum, yum. Num, num, num. There we go. Put this back on the heat. And yeah, with garlic, it's you got to be careful because you don't want it to burn because that does that gives it a different taste altogether. Okay. So now we've got our onions, our garlic, our celery, and our carrots. This is where I would add the meat. So we can start getting some of these flavors too. Because I did not do anything, like I said, I put salt and pepper and I steamed the chicken because it was frozen. So I wanted it to cook a little bit. And the butter will help because this is chicken breasts, um, organic chicken breasts. So um, the butter will give it a nice texture and beef it up a bit. Now we're going to add our spices. Now I like to add my spices while putting them on. So I'm going to approximate because like I said, I'm doing this from memory. This is how I used to make my spaghetti sauce before I stopped eating beef and not using um, organic ingredients. So I'm going to start with a quarter teaspoon and then I'm going to see if that's how much I would normally sprinkle and then there you go. We'll start with a quarter teaspoon. And yeah, that looks, no, maybe another one. Okay, so we've got half a teaspoon. No. Quarter teaspoon of salt. <laughs> Decision made. We're going to do the same thing. Quarter teaspoon of pepper. Yep, that looks right too. But we are going to put a half a teaspoon of nutritional yeast. Because this stuff's just good for you. Make it a heaping one too. Uh, make it a teaspoon. There you go. This stuff is actually really yummy. All right. So we've got the nutritional yeast, we've got that. Now let's go back to our quarter teaspoon. Take this off the heat. It's cooking a little more than I thought it would. So we've gone back to our quarter teaspoon and I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of basil. And we'll make that one and a half. Yeah, half teaspoon of basil. Then we've got rosemary. Mm, that smells good too. We'll put in a quarter teaspoon of rosemary. Then we've got Italian seasoning. Oops. I think we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. starting to smell right. Then we have onion powder. Even though I have onions in there, I like to put extra onion flavoring because I love onions. So, I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Next, we have red pepper, crushed red pepper flakes. So, that I'm only going to put a quarter teaspoon and it may seem like a lot but it's not okay and then we have oregano 
we're going to put in probably a half a teaspoon of that. Yep. And that's it for the spices. So I'm going to put this back on the heat. And this is what it looks like. And you got a whiff of that and what do you think? Smells like a huge kitchen in here. <laughs> but it smells good. Alright, so you got all this stuff all up in here. Yum yum yum. Steve says it smells delish. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a can of the organic chopped tomatoes. I'm gonna put that in my sauce. Oh, and I'm going to let this simmer overnight, just so you know, just like I would many of my soups. All right, so in go the tomatoes. The whole thing, the whole tin, this one. Then we're going to put in what do you think? Quarter or half? How bold you want to be. Okay, we'll go. We'll be, we'll be all right. We'll put in a quarter. If we want more, we can put more. So there we go. Quarter teaspoon of sriracha. Then we're going to put in this passata, strained tomatoes. I read the label on this one, and there is... There are two grams of sugar in these strained tomatoes. Ingredients, tomatoes, tomato juice, salt, and citric acid. So yes, we're going to, but I don't see the words organic and I do not see the words non-GMO. So we're not gonna use these. We are going to use these ones, which is Tomato and basil, organics, Canada organic. We're going to use this one, okay? So, oh, I can do this. There we go. So we're going to put this tomato sauce in here. which is French for look there. Okay. Here we have our organic pasta sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this simmer for about a half hour. We'll come back and we'll take a look and we'll see if I'm going to let this simmer overnight, stick it in my Dutch oven or what we're going to do. So we're going to let this sit put a lid on it, let this simmer, drop this down to two, and we're going to let this simmer for a half hour and see what happens. So we will be back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so it's been a half hour and this has been bubbling away. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Oh, that smells wonderful. Alrighty, so here you have it. This is the spaghetti sauce. Now, that looks actually really good. Okay, we're going to get Steve to taste it and see what he thinks. See if it's Steve approved. Careful, it's hot. Uh huh. Blow on it. There you go. Ooh, Steve didn't take enough time. Uh, don't don't eat it. Mm. It's beautiful. So this is a thumbs Ooh. up for. Oh, do you feel the kick? No, I had I I can I can't tell what kind of chunk I had. I think it was celery. 
Well, it could be celery, could be carrot, could be carrot, can, celery, or tomato. Mmm. Gum is up. That is good. Now, normally, I would add a little sugar just to take the salty edge off of my sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle a heaping teaspoon of stevia just to make it a just to make it a little sweeter and more to my taste because I'm not a real big fan of salty salty but a little bit of sweet helps the sauce. So there we have the sauce. Looks really good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to section this stuff off and I'm going to freeze it. So that way I'll have sauce and anytime I'm feeling a little peckish I'll have sauce and I can get out my spaghetti squash. Now I don't know if I can squeeze if I can freeze this but what we are going to do is we're going to get our buddy Steve to give the spaghetti squash a taste. Oh, okay, I see. It gets all fibrous and stuff, see? Like mm. spaghetti. Okay. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've never actually had spaghetti squash before, so we're gonna try this out today. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of sauce on Mr. Spaghetti Squash, and we're gonna get Stephen to taste spaghetti right. squash and sauce. Pardon my finger; it won't go on the spoon. There you go. Here we go, Steve. What do you think? I mean, I know it's not pasta, but it, it's a healthy choice. I'm trying to think of when it's... Think of, it's good, bottom line. Mmm. That is really good. Okay. I do like... Spaghetti squash, and I do like making spaghetti sauce with organic ingredients. This is really good. You want another bite? Why not? Mm -hmm. Okay, please know that you can always add or subtract anything to taste. I am just experimenting with this. First time I'm having any of this stuff. Well, not really. I've made spaghetti sauce before, but making it with these organic ingredients and the not pasta. This is actually really good. Okay. Thumb way up from me. Thumb way up from Steve. So, um, like, uh, comment. Let me know if you try this. And let me know what changes you make. And once again, thanks for stopping by and seeing us here.